Hello everyone, this is Max, your friendly neighborhood web developer. And uh, today we're going to be talking about searching and replace things in PHP MyAdmin. Uh, we're going to be working in this database right here. But here's here's the issue. This site here, ajun.com, if you notice the URL, ajun.com, is an exact replica of the test site, webcourtsense.com, ajun2. Now eventually this site is going to be deleted. And why is that a concern? Well, if we right click and inspect the element here, we can see that these pictures are being brought in from that domain, the web.courtsense.com. And what we need to do, the, the developer used uh, absolute URLs, you know, whenever they were preparing the site. So what you have to do is go in and replace those, just those images to make sure that they're pointing to a june.com uh, and they're not on, uh, not pointing to the test server. Now the uh, prerequisites for this is you got to make sure that you got all the images from the test site and that you upload them in your um, uploads folder. Okay, so that's that's number one. Now you need to go to the database and you need to replace these image URLs with the appropriate one. The, uh, you need to replace the domain name. So how you'll do that is you'll just go to Google, type in A1 Website Pro, um, search and replace MySQL, or something like that. Something of that nature. And you should be able to get to my post here on how can I update values all at once in MySQL. There's nothing more cumbersome than going through it and changing them one at a time. And what you do is you want this syntax right here, okay? This is what's going to make your life a little bit easier. Okay, this is not, not the easiest job in the world, but it'll help you. Okay, so that's the syntax you want to copy. And then what you'll do is you'll go to the database and uh, you'll do a search. Up here, if you click on up here, go to the main database, and then you'll do a search. And what we want to do is we want to search for that old web user. Web course, court sense, June 2. So you'll paste it in there just like this, and then you'll hit select all. So it searches all the tables. And then you'll hit, hit go. This is going to bring up all the tables that found a match. And we can see WP Options has some, we have User Meta has some. Now, if we look at that syntax a little bit closer, um, for, let me see, let me go. So here's the table name, and this is the field name. This would be the same field name as this one, okay? There's, these are the same. Here you have the unwanted text and the wanted text. So first of all, let's go ahead and grab the unwanted text. Here is um, the unwanted text. So we're going to copy that. We're going to put that right in here, okay? The next thing we, we're going to do is put in the wanted text, which is a june.com. So we'll copy that and put that in here, all right? And uh, to get the table names, I copied down all the table names, and the first one is WP Post that we'll go ahead and do. So I'm gonna update this table name. Now, what about the field name? Okay, well, let me show you how to find the field name. So WP Post is the first one. We have 191 matches. So if we wanna find the field name, we just simply click Browse and it'll appear below here. If we scroll down right here, what we'll want to do is look for the field name that contains this webcoursense.com of June. So basically, I'm going to do this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy this. Over here, I'm going to hit Control F. I'm going to paste it in there. And I can see that GUID, see that GUID, that's the field name place. Now there could be more sections in here, um, you know, because I found 14 to 38 right there. So there's definitely more sections. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. And so how we'll execute this is we'll go to SQL, just like that. Oh, let me go back and grab my my field name. I forgot to grab my field name. 
trying to teach and work at the same time is sometimes a difficult task. But let's see here. I'm going to click go. And go to post. And once again, I guess it's not going to hurt to show you this twice. And then uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and find all those uh, uh, places where we have it. GUID. So right here, I'm going to put in the field name GUID, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it here as well. Okay. Make sure you always leave them parentheses and quotes and slashes where they need to be. Okay. So I'm going to copy this little uh, syntax. I'm going to go up here to the SQL, and I'm simply just going to paste this in here, okay, and then I'll hit uh, go. All right, if you get an error like this, uh, you have, we have an unexpected character, the, uh, the, um, the backslash, so let's go ahead and take out the uh, backslashes for this particular one. Depending on the database version that you have, you may need it or may not need it. So we'll try to run this query again with the revised version. Okay, let's click go. All right, there we go. We have 191 rows affected. Okay, so we changed it from uh, Web Court Sense, you know, a June two to June.com. Now, if you want to verify those results, you could go down, look at your WP posts over here, go to the column of GUID, GUID, okay, and here now you could see that all of the uh, all of the GUID fields are now at June.com, okay. So I'll be going on and, and finishing my other tables, but I, was, I hope this was enough to get you started on using that search and replace feature in, my in PHP MyAdmin. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. Thanks. Bye.